Welcome to the Aqua Organic 2000 fish farm systems. We're going to be going through the components of the fish farm shortly, but just overlooking here we can see the grow bed in front of us here, the grow beds, the NFT systems behind, the clarifier in the, in the distance there, and also we can see the tank production system there as well. So we'll be going through each of these components shortly and explain to you how your fish farm operates. The 2,000 litre aquaculture volume master tanks hold a capacity of about 180 fish which will allow you to grow fish to about 90 kilos or 45 kilos per cubic metre. As you can see here the fish production unit is cylindrical and also conical, that is that there is an outflow from the centre of the tank. As the water travels around in a circular motion from our air deflector on the opposite end and our air stains and also our re-entry level of our water over here, as the water circulates in an anti-clockwise motion, the wastes are then carried down to the bottom of the tank and the wastes travel up this central pipe and then in the centre pipe, as we can see here, there is a water level set where the water height will remain constant but where the water will be flowing out. So all the wastes that are on the bottom will flow up through that vertical, up to that vertical chamber and then out through the flow. Once the water flows out through that central drain system we can move through this pipework here and you can see down here we have a, a three-way valve. The three-way valve is set at the moment at a 90 degrees angle so as the water travels in it's now travelling up into the clarifier. To dump the 2000 litre tank or to dump any wastes one simply turns the valve here and can turn it either into a clockwise direction cutting off the clarifier and draining the tank or we can turn it around in an anti-clockwise direction and that allows the clarifier to drain out but blocks the tank off. So there are two ways you can set that if you want to drain off. Once the water travels up through the clarifier, the heavy particulate matter will settle out in this tray here and this tray needs to be vacuumed at least once every few days. As the small sediments as you can see here on the bottom, they need to be vacuumed off with a little pipe into a bucket and that can be thrown out onto the garden for beautiful produce, so if they say roses or flowers. The other way of course is that you can drain this clarifier down by turning that three-way valve in that clockwise, uh, clockwise direction and allowing that water to run out from here and taking the waste out with it. Once the water travels over the weir and drops down into the central sump here, this is where our pumping system lies and also some aeration and also the return of our NFT. We've also in the bottom here also have a probe there which is a water level switch. So when the water drops down just to pump level, that will kick in and say there's a, there's a low water. So the water's now aerating as it's falling back into the sump. The sump's holding the water, so we have a constant tide of our fish tanks. And now our pump is activating and is pumping the water up through the bed systems. As you can see here, as the water pumps through, we have a switch here, another probe here, which is our pump switch. If the pump stops for any reason, then this will activate an alarm and it will call you, letting you know that there is a pump failure or a blockage of the pump. If the power goes off, then you'll get two alarms. One will be that the power is off and also that the pump is not working as well, which is quite obvious. The water now travels up through from the flow, the flow switch, travels up along the NFT. We can see here we go up to the top of the NFT. And this has been set on this valve here. And we also have a return line in front of us here. We have a drain cock that we can drain any water off or to just to discharge any waste that may block this line. And now have a feed line which goes into each of these NFTs and the water is now travelling back down along the NFT, back down into our sump back here on our return flow. Now there's another pipe work under the gravel here which then takes it over to our grow bed media. Over here we can see the intake pipe here. As we traverse across here we'll see that there is a number of valves along each of these beds and these valves have been set now to allow water into the media beds so that the water will travel up and down in, inside the beds. Inside here we have auto siphons just like this one here so as the water reaches a certain height that will automatically dump the the discharge from the water here, the discharge will dump out through the return line, this big uh, four inch one here this bed will then drain down and then start to fill up again. So it'll be constantly draining down, filling up, draining down, filling up, draining down, filling up. So each of these beds will do that totally and automatically. On the other side here, we've also got under the gravel here, we've got our other return line. 
which is now coming back to our fish tank and completing our loop and circulating the water. So we have our underground pipes just here, we have our return lines, 4 inch and 25mm, we have our probes and our alarms etc set up around the place to monitor the different types of alarms, we have our pump above the water height and we have a one way valve on there as well also to protect any water sewage that might be in there. That's also there and inside the box there is also an aeration switch that will switch on if the aeration turns off that will also give you an indication. Over here on the other side just sitting on our diffuser we have a probe. Now this probe here is our oxygen probe. Now this will need to be cleaned every once in a while. So all we need to do is just give that a wipe just to clean any muck off of there and let that dangle back down into the system. That will just sit there nicely monitoring the temperature. That's pretty well it for our system. And then we put our fish in, of course, and then our fish feed our plants.